Welcome back, everybody, to Kingdom Hearts 2. We are about to enter my favorite world in the whole game, possibly my favorite world in the whole Kingdom Hearts series. It's a short world, but it's just super well done and really, really cool. Let's open the door. What world could lie inside this door? Hey, look! There's the cornerstone of light! What's going on? Everything's black and white. Deja vu? Really? Have you been here before? Hey, you! See any bad guys around here? <laughs> Why, yeah, you ought to... Nah, I don't have time to waste on folks like you, so I guess I'll go easy on ya. Well, there's our villain. Welcome to the next world, the Timeless River. This is modeled after those old Disney cartoons, the black and white ones, and it's so cool. Like, Donald and Goofy look like their old selves, Sora looks like the old anime boy, but he also has, like, the Mickey Mouse shoes and the Mickey Mouse pants, but he's stylized after, like, old anime, like, cartoons. It's so great. And they even, like, muffled the sound to give it the old-timey feel. It's so good. They spent so much effort and time into making this world, like, really realistic and faithful. And I love it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off full sound effects. There. Cornerstone Hill map in there. Please ignore the garage door closing. This is a really cool world, though. Oh, hey, Google. Do we have stuff to give you? Oh, we can buy stuff. Ooh, the Engineer's Ring increases max AP. Yeah, I'd like to buy that. Tourmaline Ring increases strength and raises maximum AP. I would like that too. Gold Ring increases magic and increases maximum AP. Yes, please. How many Efers do I have? I've got eight. Yeah, okay. All right, and we get a Serenity Stone for completing the collection. Very nice. Can't make an elixir. Can't make any of those. All right, I'll have the Sardonyx Rain and the Tourmaline Rain. Goofy, you can get the metal again. Donald, you can get the Gold Rain to boost your magic a little more. Although I could have... Nah, Goofy, I'm gonna give the plus one strength, too. I think that's more important. Hey, Claribel. You can find Pete at the pier up ahead. If he's not there, he's probably out on his boat. That's his pride and joy. Oh, hey, Donald and Goofy just walking around. That was Pete, wasn't it? Is it just me, or did he seem somehow different? <laughs> oh, it's a Clara Clock. <laughs> I don't know her voice, though. This is where Disney Castle is going to be built. It's nothing but an empty field now, but I guess it bet it's going to be a huge castle. Yeah, this is literally like the Disney Castle in the past. It's so cool. I don't know what world this is, but we can't let Pete get away. Still, it's kind of strange with the cornerstone of light and all. I... It's the radiant light of the cornerstone. Anyhow, let's go down to the pier. treasure chest. We have a high potion. Before we approach Pete, we're going to walk around here and pick up the treasure chests. Mithril shard. Very nice. And a frontier puzzle piece. The ticket counter for boats. Punish. What with you, squirts? You got some kind of bone to pick with me? More than one. Dems. Fighting words. Huh? 
Not so fast. <laughs> what that so now we get to fight Timeless Pete. And he's a sage. Especially if we use Valor form. Although whenever he falls, he makes a cartoonish, like, ground pound that actually does hurt you. But a single combo of Valor form will finish him off, provided you're at a high enough level of good enough stats. What you bugs beef with me anyway? Who? Who are you? You new around here? Cut the act. Whoa! <laughs> You know, something doesn't seem quite right here. Are you sure you're Pete? Well, of course I'm Pete. I'm the captain of the steamboat, so stop bothering me, see? So hit the road. I gotta go find the little runt what stole my boat. It was probably Mickey. Of course, maybe we made a mistake. I'm starting to think the same thing. He hasn't even called any heartless. Sorry we attack you like that, Captain Pete. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're really sorry, then go find my steamboat. Yes, sir. Oh, my hickin' brack. Timeless River. Amazing world. One of my favorite video game worlds ever. It's so well done. I thought for sure Pete was the bad guy. Ah, that would be too easy. Come on, fellas. Let's try to find that steamboat. I guess we did say we would. Hey, we've got a door to find. The door's on the steamboat. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't see any doors. Huh? What's this? I can't see a thing. Okay, the deja vu joke is seriously one of the most brilliant jokes I've ever seen. Like, because <laughs> you see it twice, the first, and both times it works really, in a really clever way. It's so fantastic. What was that? Heartless going out. And us coming in! What does it mean? Oh, I missed a chest. Well, now these four windows are here. We gotta go in and get the Heartless out. Let's get rid of those Heartless. Then what'll we do? We'll worry about that later. So I just gotta say, uh, this is like the world to level up your summons and drives. Because, as you can see, Donald and Goofy are walking around in the Cornerstone Hill, and they always will be. And like I said, if you either are in a drive form or you have a summon out and you walk into a room where Donald and Goofy are walking around, it will automatically revert you back to normal and you'll keep all of the drive that you would have otherwise lost. So yeah, this is a prime place to level those up. Frost shard in that chest. <laughs> you can see a construction site through that window. Sure, it's strange. Looks pretty unstable, too. If that rope breaks, it's gonna fall. There's a town for that window. What kind of gimmick is this? There's a cannon in the middle of town. If the enemy comes, we can blast them with that. All right, let's see. We can go for each of these four windows to a different location. 
this is kind of like the gimmick of the world. What are they building? Look out! Gee, he seems kind of different somehow. I knew it. You really saved the day. Now, let's get those heartless. I love the music in this world. Defeat all the heartless before the scaffolding breaks. So these are a new type of heartless. These are hammer flames. They will smash you with their mallets and they deal a lot of damage. We also have the mayhem meter, which is just fantastic. So they're basically smashing the scaffolding and uh, that'll cause the mayhem meter to go up and you don't want that to happen. And occasionally the scaffolding will make you bounce and you can use a reaction command in the middle here, which is super powerful. If you can hit people with that. Also, this is going to be a great time for Chicken Little, I think. Alright, come on, whistle him. A wire snap, the scaffolding won't hold much longer. That's okay. How do you like that? <laughs> Thanks, Mickey! Mickey's so cute in this world. I love him. Hey, look! <laughs> this is just such a clever world. It's so fun. It's just like pure fun and really cool. You absolute idiot. You've managed to fail at everything. And what's more, you foolishly thought you could take my place while I was away. Well, as of now, you're finished. Mark my words, there'll be no place for you when our time comes. Useless imbecile. But, but, but I... Uh... That was cold, Maleficent. What? Somebody sure was angry. It definitely wasn't Maleficent. I don't understand. <laughs> Let's just try to clear out the Heartless first. This place is okay, but we've got three more spots to check. Yeah, and as you can see, even though we summoned Chicken Little, we're back here with our party members walking around, so we're back to free drive gauges. Let's go to the next part. The town shrunk. <laughs> or do you think maybe we got bigger? It's Lilliput. Hey, look at the toy cannon. What's he saying? Hey, they're heartless. This is a new type of enemy, aeroplanes. Feed all the Heartless while protecting the town. So the Mayhem Meter is back. If the Heartless or you destroy buildings, then uh, Mayhem Meter goes up. Don't let it fill up to full. And we can use a Reaction Command on this tower in the middle. That will rapidly shoot the Heartless, which will not damage them, but it will stun them in place. Hey, stop! Just when you're like, yeah, I need to be something chicken little. Because you can pull everyone into one place. Whoops, that was the wrong shortcut. I just popped a potion. That's fine, I got plenty of them. Man, that was weird. It's kind of interesting how, like, you're using these windows up here to kind of let you see through time. It's pretty cool. Oh, for crying out loud. She didn't have to go and say that. Okay, I might have messed up every now and then, but I'm a lot more things than useless. Why, when I was starting out? Oh, I missed those good old days. What I would give to go back in time. What I would give. <laughs> huh? Hey, I 
think that way? A door? It looks familiar. Yup, it's the door Merlin magicked up. So it should come straight here, right? Sure, I think. Let's go check it out. So before we do the other two, <laughs> Lilliput building site, before we do those, we're gonna explore the rest of the Timeless River. We're gonna go to the wharf. Thank you, Chicken Little. <laughs> His ability to just whistle all the enemies to one place is so useful. At least at the beginning. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Excuse me. No treasures on that screen. We're in the waterway now, though. And there are chests here. You just have to be kind of close to Chicken Little for him to do the whistle move. Oh my head! Why'd you gain up on me like that? If you feel bad about it, then hurry up and catch the guy who stole my boat! I can't do the Disney voices, I'm sorry. Yeah, and we walk with Chicken Little back to Cornerstone Hill. Bada beam bada boom, we have Max Drive again. Nice. Anyhow, this one's pretty easy. Come on, he needs our help. Oh no, Mickey, why is there a black hole in your living room? Defeat all the heartless while defending the furniture. Help me, Chicken Little. Don't let the furniture get sucked away. I'm kind of busy fighting Heartless here. <laughs> Thanks, Chicken Little. <laughs> You're welcome, Mickey. I saved your furniture. Well, I saved some of your furniture. Some of it got spaghettified, though. Fascinating. This appears to be a portal to the past. Yeah, it was the strangest thing. Stop gawking. And start thinking of a way we can use it to our advantage. Okay. Now, perhaps I could give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Oh, thank you, thank you. You can count on me. So what do I do? Patience, my dear. What have we here? Well, if it isn't the cornerstone of light. Hmm. Now we can take the castle from those fools, but we'll have to proceed with the utmost of care. Pretty much my one complaint of this world is it's never explained how the door appears to Pete in the first place. It's like, oh, he wanted to go to the past, so the universe let him. It's like, okay, that's kind of dumb, but the rest of the world's awesome. Maleficent! She must have known all along. Let's see, if that door's connected to the past... No, 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 it comes here! Huh? Then that means we're in the past. Wow. If we're in the past, we can change the future! Hold on, fellas. Remember what Merlin said? He's got faith in us. 
We have to resist the temptation no matter what. That sounds like something Jiminy Cricket would say. Oh, I was only joking. I was only joking. Who'd want to change the future anyway? <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? Doors, bad guys? <laughs> Gorsh, my brain hurts. Well, we know we're on the right track. Seriously, the, the people who made, who did the character design for Sora in this world are geniuses. Alright, we have one last one to do, and this one's the hardest one of them all. Fire! Come on, he needs our help! Mickey's apartment complex is burning down, even though he has a house in the other window. Defeat all of the Heartless while protecting the building. So there will be these little fireballs that will be um, dancing up to the building. We're gonna attack it and destroy it. This is one of the most annoying enemies in the game. This is a hot rod. They're car Heartless that are very difficult to defeat because once they get low on HP, they go into overdrive mode and become completely invincible and charge you down. And can kill you very easily. Back to the scene of the fire. I probably should have done this fight before Mickey's house. Because then I could summon Chicken Little for this fight. Because if you summon Chicken Little for the final uh, window fight that you do, I uh, he will not you will not revert at the end of the fight. Take that. And now I got two of them. No, stop pulling on the fire. Pulling on the hot rods. There we go. Those hot rods are really difficult to defeat. Thankfully, I think that's the only time in the game you actually have to fight them, so... <laughs> You're welcome, Mickey. Well, that takes care of that. Hey! So this might be a slightly longer episode, but we can do all of Timeless River in one video. It's a pretty short world. Listen well. On the other side of this portal, they're about to begin construction on that wretched castle. But until then, their treasured cornerstone of light lies unguarded, with all of its power still contained. The cornerstone of light? Yes. That cursed sphere is the very thing that prevents us from entering the castle. You were able to teleport in just fine earlier. Oh. You know what must be done? Uh. Go then. Time to prove your worth. And don't dare to fail me again. How about you do it yourself? I didn't exist back in the 1930s. Again. Let's see. That's it. I just gotta smash that cornerstone to smithereens. <laughs> uh, but first, I gotta go get my old boat back. I wanna go for a ride. <laughs> it was Pete after all. Still, something doesn't seem right. Hmm. The Pete we met here had kind of an attitude, but he didn't seem like a bad guy. <laughs> there are two now that Pete's. Castle's as good as ours. That's the Pete we know. Oh no! The cornerstone's gone. 
What, Mom? They're gonna fill the castle with darkness. We gotta hurry. Hey, hold it right there. No way, small fry. I finally found the pit squeak what stole my ski boat. Why? I'm the new. Right, me. No, no, it wasn't me. I'm just somebody who looks like me. Oh, oh. which is oh, it? We get the window of time map. Anyhow. Oh wait, that's the food waiting to appear. We gotta go to the waterway. <laughs> this is, the next fight is a very interesting fight. Wait! Shut up! You are futures on the light valley, so back off and give me the boat! What time is time? After him! Pete, you're beating up your past self. That's never a good idea. <laughs> So now we have to fight you could follow me if you wanted to. Boat Pete. Break the cage before Pete escapes. So instead of just driving the boat away, he throws trash at us. We can use ration commands to throw it back at him. And he goes over here, and now this is where the fight is going to begin. So we use the reaction command to grab onto his hook. Then we attack the cage as it gets close. And occasionally the hook will move back. We need to use a reaction command to stay grabbed on. Oh, come on! He has one HP left. Wait, can I just fucker him? Apparently I can't just thunder it open. Have to do a combo. But we get a lot of new abilities for that. Yes. You'll pay for this. You're really bad at this, Pete. <laughs> Donald, we'll come back for it later. Pete's heading for the doorway. I feel like getting the cornerstone back should be a higher priority, but what do I know? Off to the wharf. And Pete and his past self are duking it out. No! <laughs> You're still wet behind the ears. Then try us. You need more zippers on your outfit. <laughs> Time for the main boss of the Timeless River, Timeless Future Pete. And we have Timeless Pete on our side for this fight. But Timeless Pete can still damage us. And like I, like I said in Olympus Coliseum, Pete is an extremely easy fight. We fight him a lot in this game, and he's like always easy. <laughs> and he can basically summon the different portraits uh, that we went to. So he summoned like the building that'll now shoot like fireballs out of it. Okay, there's a reaction command from Timeless Pete, the about face, if he's dashing around. I'm trying to show that off later on in the fight. <laughs> now we're in Mickey's house in the black hole. <laughs> Back in Willow Butt, we can use these towers. No, we can't. The towers are attacking us. Once you get his HP down to certain points, that's when he will, like, you won't be able to damage him anymore. And he'll do the change scene. This final scene, we're back at the building site. And he's gonna pound the scaffolding up. What we're gonna do is use that reaction command. To hit him, then uh, we can't just run out of him off. Because we're in MP recharge. Now we will. HP increased, and we get the reflect element, which gives us access to the reflect spell, which is by far the most overpowered and broken magic spell in the whole game. 
I first like few times I played Kingdom Hearts 2, I never even used Reflect. Oh man, <laughs> Reflect is so good. It serves you right. Ow, 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 ow. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Source Keyblade actually unlocks the door, so it's always there. Would somebody tell me what's been going on here? Was that creep anyways? Hello? That creep was you from future. Sora, that's a secret. Secret? What kind of secret? Oh, never mind. Sorry I put you guys through all that trouble. <laughs> oh. And to show you my appreciation, I'll let you pilot my steamboat. Best little craft on the river. I want to pilot that can Mickey's late anyways. <laughs> Past Pete's actually pretty nice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Remember that part from Steamboat Willie? <laughs> There's Mickey who's like, Haha, No, I don't have to do any of the work! <laughs> so no, do it for me! And we get the Monochrome Keyblade, which is the Timeless River Keyblade. Increases the effect of restoration items used on the field by 50%. So... <sighs> I wanted to say that this weapon's just not that great. It has free strength and two magic, which is, makes it slightly better than the Kingdom Key and Star Seeker Keyblades. I feel like its ability item boost generally isn't that great, but if you combine it with the item boost that you get from Critical Mode, that means your items will be uh, <laughs> a lot more effective. And I think if you have the item boost you get normally as an ability equipped and you have this Keyblade equipped, Ethers will replenish your entire MP meter. So that makes Eifers a lot better, <laughs> and that can actually be really, really, really nice to have. So it's a, it's a very situational keyblade, but I'm probably not going to use it very much. Well, I'll at bet all. you the sweet mail. Guess we should head back. <laughs> Donald can't be trusted. My own, besides the weird plot hole of Pete getting access to the door, the only complaint, other complaint I have of this world is that it's short. <laughs> I want to spend more time there. No more forms! The have disappeared! By George, the lads have accomplished their mission! Hooray! Let's have an acorn feast to celebrate! <laughs> Welcome back. Because of your bravery, the castle is safe and protected again. Thank you so much for all you've done. Good, Good work, work, you guys! guys. Now, boys, I, I hope you didn't do anything reckless while you were there. Of course not! <laughs> <laughs> well, we beat up past Pete for no reason. Who? Daisy is Donald's very special sweetheart. Really? <laughs> Remember how in Olympus Coliseum in the first game, anytime you won a battle, he'd be like, Fat Daisy! That's the Daisy he was talking about. <laughs> Donald, you forgot about our date again. You'd better have a good excuse this time. I'm saving the world! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> I know it's an important mission, but you could at least check in every once in a while. Sure. <laughs> Donald? Just be a moment. Going somewhere? I trust that. Donald! 
<laughs> oh, Donald has a bad relationship. Oh, oh look. Donald and Daisy arguing reveals the next keyhole. <laughs> Just kidding, it's the cornerstone of light that does. Aw, oh, yeah. I, I seriously can't wax enough <laughs> praise for Timeless River. Seriously amazing world. Well done, d d game designers. If only every world in this game could be that good. I mean, honestly, on the whole, I really like the Kingdom Hearts 2 worlds. There's like one or two dud worlds. Daisy, but... we need Donald for just a little longer. How much longer? Um, well... Well, do you have any idea how many Kingdom Hearts games that are being made? So it's gonna be a long time. I'll be back soon, Daisy. Soon is vague, Donald. Don't you worry, Queen Minnie. We'll return. Please tell the king that we're still looking for him. I don't know where he is, Sora. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> I will. See you soon. Think wisely. Merlin said, I must go back. <laughs> Disney Castle. We have completed the world. And we unlock a new drive form, Wisdom Form. With Donald's help, use the drive command to change into Wisdom Form. So, this is very a very different drive form. This is basically the anti-Valor form. In Valor form, you use Goofy and like absorb his powers. At, uh, he needs to be in the party to use it. And you dual wield two keyblades, you're super physically powerful, but you can't use magic. In wisdom form, your magic power is super like charged. Your your magic is really powerful. You can use magic while you're moving, which is really nice. And your MP meter refills a lot faster when you're in wisdom form. So it's all about magic, but you can't use physical attacks in wisdom form. So many pe many people who are playing this for the first time will like check out wisdom form once, be like, this is terrible, because like if you try to use physical attacks, you'll just blast like orbs out of your keyblade, which are pretty weak, and you'll basically be like, I don't ever want to use this. I'll just use valor form. I actually am again here to say wisdom form is a better form than valor form. It's tougher to use, but man, it's gonna, s <laughs> especially if you do the bonus bosses, wisdom form is really good. You just need to know when to use it, basically. And again, Donald needs to be in your party in order to use Wisdom Form. And he needs to be alive. A new episode was added to Olympus Coliseum. You know what? Let's just check that out because I also have some abilities to go over. Underworld Entrance. Well, the coast is clear. No sign of the Nobodies or the Heartless. For now, anyway. What's the air? Watch that! The Underground. Remember Orin, guys? He just kind of disappeared. Fiends of the Underworld. Uh, I didn't read that. Fiends of the Underworld go there and battle it out. But Zeus didn't like the senseless violence, so lock the place up. How did it get unlocked? Some fool must have broken the seal. What an idiot! <laughs> that was us! <laughs> Where are you going, Oren? We should catch up! We could go on a coffee date at Starbucks. If you need something to do, go help your friends. I'm sure they're fine. <laughs> Just talk to me if you want to enter a tournament. This is most pretty kishes this is feeling kind of charitable, so don't worry about dying or anything. You should consider yourself lucky. <laughs> that is not... Pain's voice at all. <laughs> and if you win, you'll get lots of fabulous prizes. There are a bunch of tournaments to make sure you check back often. <laughs> I have the worst Disney voices ever. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way to spend some time. Uh huh. So before we do that, yeah, monochrome gives you item boost, free strength to magic. New customized menu. Okay, so we have the reflect spell now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Blizzard on the square button, because we're gonna want Blizzard for the next world. And then I'm gonna put reflect on the triangle button. So reflect, fends and shoots back magic, or er, fends back enemy attacks. This 
is a terrible description for Reflect. I'm like, what the heck even does Reflect do? Uh, this is what Reflect does. So when you use it, you basically get a little more than one full second of complete, utter invincibility. Which is actually really good, because it can be used to dodge attacks very easily. And its main gimmick is, when you use Reflect, if an enemy were to attack me, were to attack my shield when I had it up, the shield would basically split and deal non-elemental magic damage to all nearby enemies. So this is very useful against boss fights, because you can do a pretty good chunk of damage to them. And as our magic uh, stat goes up, and as we get higher levels versions of Reflect, like Reflera and Refliga, <laughs> oh man, you have no idea how much damage this does. Like, a, this can destroy an entire bar of HP from enemies once you're at a high enough level. It's super good. Another thing I have to go over is all of our new abilities. So Sora has a new ability, Dodge Slash, unleashes an attack that deals damage to nearby enemies. This is very vague. This replaces, this basically replaces one of the normal hits in your ground combo with a Dodge Slash, where Sora will basically kind of tap dance around and swing his Keyblade, like, rapidly on diagonals. It sounds cool and it looks kind of cool, but it's not a good ability because it whiffs enemies really easily and can make it so that they can get an attack in edgewise. So I don't recommend using that. If you want to equip it and try it out, feel free. But it's a bad ability. And nothing else for him. Wisdom form. Okay, wisdom shot. Changes the command attack to shoot. So that's disabling your physical attacks. And no, you can't unequip that ability. It is locked to wisdom form. Mobile action. Actions will be enabled while moving. So that means we can cast magic while with that. Magic haste shortens magic casting time and re enables rapid magic combos. So that basically increases the speed of our magic attacks and allows us to dash while using them. Magic Spice powers up the finishing move of magic combos. Retaliating Slash, when knocked down, you quickly regain balance and counterattack by using Square. The Growth Ability for Wisdom Form. Valor Form's Growth Ability is High Jump, which lets you jump higher. Wisdom Form's is Quick Run. It doesn't let you run faster, but rather you tilt the left stick and you press Square, and you'll do like a little dash, and the dash does give you invincibility frames. So once we get that for Normal Sword, we'll kind of be able to dash around a little bit, and that'll pick up our speed. It's a nice ability to have and level up. And then we've got all of our normal stuff here. And also, Wisdom Form, only when you're in Wisdom Form, you get two MP Haste get abilities. So these are only when you're in Wisdom Form. Increases MP Restoration Speed by 75%. Combine this with our MP Haste Row, which it also speeds it up by 50%, our MP Meter is going to refill really fast when we're in Wisdom Form. So that makes it great for magic. Also, you level up Wisdom Form differently than you level up Valor Form. Valor Form, you get ex one experience point in Valor Form every time you strike an enemy with a Keyblade while you're in Valor Form. Wisdom Form, you get one experience point every time you kill a Heartless while you're in Wisdom Form. You don't need nearly as many experience points in Wisdom Form to level up compared to Valor Form. But if you're just thinking like, oh, for, Valor, for Wisdom Form, all I have to do is hit enemies in Wisdom Form. No, you have to kill Heartless while you're in Wisdom Form. And I'm just going to say Fire is the best spell for that, because you can just, when you use Fire in Wisdom Form, you do like a dash, and you're surrounded by fire, and it's very powerful. So yeah, that's good. Donald has a new ability. Ooh. And that's a good ability. Fantasia. It's a limit command that unleashes Donald's powerful Comet spell, consumes all of Sora's MP. So this is one of Donald's two limits that he'll learn throughout the game. Fantasia's pretty good, because it's a balm limit, so it'll give you a lot of invincibility. And you'll, he'll basically rain comets down from the sky. It's, it's pretty good. We'll be using that later on. I, I'm not going to equip it now because I, I prefer Trinity Limit for right now. Goofy is a new ability. Goofy Tornado creates a vortex to draw enemies close and attack them. Yes, use that one freely. That is fine. And let's hand over our stuff to the Moogle shop, see if we can do anything there. And then we will end the episode. All right, recipes. Still can't make an elixir. Free development. We can make the Blizzaga armlet. We don't have any energy shards, which is... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we'll use a bright shard to increase its removal level. We get the Blizzaga armlet. Greatly increases defense and increases blizzard resistance. Moogle Shop leveled up. You can now use Serenity Materials. So you use an old creations found in creations. So we can go to creations here, and we can't make anything, but what we can do is... So if we, can, if we make it another Mega Potion, we use a Serenity Stone. And what that'll do is that'll make a better version of the Mega Potion. So, this basically will double the amount of recipes that you can make. So, for example, if... Oh, better, a better example than Mega Potion, the Fire Gun Bangle. If we use a Serenity Shard when creating a new Fire Gun Bangle, it'll, instead of making the Fire Gun Bangle, it'll make the be next best one, which is the Fire of Zun Bangle, which 
gives you even more fire resistance and even more defense. So it's a way to upgrade existing synthesis material, uh, creations. Anyhow, a lot of information dumped there at the end. All of that's going to be important, though, for those of you who want to know the mechanics of the game. And we're going to end the episode there. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Connor Velarde. Tune in next time. We're going to a brand new world, and it's going to be an interesting one. Look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.